New at 6, Missouri lawmakers want to repeal a tax that adds to your total grocery bill. Right now, if you spend $100 at the supermarket, you pay $1.22 in state taxes. Joe McLean has more about the debate over that that's brewing at the Capitol. Some Democrats really like this idea because it's a way to directly help low-income households. And Republicans are generally behind the idea of providing tax relief. Despite that, none of these measures have gotten anywhere so far. What better way to help reduce the cost uh, for families than to reduce the tax on uh, the state tax on uh, their food? State Representative Adam Schnelting is a conservative Republican backing a bill to repeal state taxes on food. The policy would erase an estimated one and a half billion dollars in state revenue, which would have gone to the state's school district trust fund. Schnelting said the state has enough money to cover that. It just needs to be rearranged. These tax dollars come from somewhere. It comes from the pockets of the people back home. Uh, uh, so what we need to do is we need to make sure that government is more accountable for their tax dollars. And we can absolutely do that. There, are, There is a plethora of areas that government can cut. And this is a tax cut policy that has Democrats on board. In fact, House Minority Leader Crystal Quaid filed a separate version of the bill that creates a fund to help local governments make up for the lost revenue. That would be funded, she said, through closing tax loopholes, including for property like yachts which are currently not taxed in Missouri. Her version would also increase taxes for foreign owners of Missouri agriculture land to make up for the lost revenue. But that concern over lost local tax revenue is why House Majority Leader John Patterson said the bill is likely not going anywhere this year. There is a sales tax cut that's already made it through two committees and is set to be debated on the House floor as early as next week. That policy would appeal state and local taxes on firearms and ammunition. In Jefferson City, Joe McLean, KY3 News.